I want you to imagine your mind is like a sacred place. And inside of that sacred place, there are a ton of insanely valuable things. And imagine something came, let's just say an alien spaceship, and it tried attacking all the things inside and tried destroying them all. You would want to protect those valuable things, wouldn't you? Because that's exactly what is happening to our minds. There are things trying to attack us and pollute our brains. And the first one is the news. Think of your mind like a sponge. And depending on what that sponge consumes will dictate how dirty or clean that sponge is. And the news makes that sponge filthy. Because think about it, you're consuming all of these negative things online and then your brain starts to think about those negative things because you think about what you consume and because you see the world as just a negative place, it's going to make your mental health worse and it's going to make the way you perceive the world worse. Because the world isn't all negative, but the news shows you what captures your attention and negative things capture people's attention. So they're just showing you the negative things, which makes you think that the world is more negative than it actually is. And because your mind is on those negative things, it will be harder for you to focus on what you actually need to be focusing on. If I were to consume a bunch of news, I would be thinking about all of that news and it would be harder for me to focus on what I actually needed to be focusing on. But instead, I don't watch the news and instead I can just focus on making valuable videos and making the best videos I can possibly make so that I can help you as much as I possibly can. So on top of making you see the world as a negative place and robbing you of your focus, it also wastes your time. And your time is one of your most valuable assets, if not the most valuable asset, because you can get your money back. If you spend money, you can get it back, but you can never get your time back. And a lot of people just waste their insanely valuable time watching the news. So what I want you to do is be very careful on what you consume. If you consume a bunch of these videos and I post videos every day, and if you were to watch all of those videos every single day, you would learn a ton. And all this information, even if I repeat the same information, it's just getting reinforced more and more and more into your mind. And that way you're going to act it out more in real life. And then you're going to improve yourself even more. But if you consume a bunch of negative things, then that's going to pollute your mind even more. You're going to act that out even more and your life is going to go downhill. So you need to be very careful on what you consume because we are what we consume. That doesn't just apply to food. That applies to what we watch, what we listen to, and pretty much everything else. Another thing that you need to do is just focus on yourself. You can't do anything about the world events that are happening. Unless you're like a millionaire or a billionaire and have a ton of extra time on your hands, you can't do anything about those events that are happening. Maybe someday you'll actually be able to do something to help those events if that's what you want to do. But right now, you just need to focus on building yourself. Another thing is porn. And I know you know porn is bad. Pretty much everybody knows porn is bad. Well, actually, maybe not everybody. But a lot of people know porn is bad. But it's bad for even more reasons than a lot of people talk about. And one of those reasons is similar to the news. When you consume the news, then you think about the news. When you consume porn, you think about porn. So that robs you even more of your focus. And you can see how a lot of people will stack these things onto themselves. They play video games, they watch social media, they watch porn, they watch the news, and all these things are just robbing them of their focus. And the thing is, we have a mission. I have a mission to help you become the strongest version of yourself that you can possibly be and conquer life. And I have that mission for myself too. So we have a mission. And we cannot let anything get in our way. We cannot let anything slow us down. And the thing is, it doesn't just get in the way of our mission. It also will ruin relationships. I've heard some people and it's completely destroyed their relationships. They've been married and people have gotten divorces because of porn and getting addicted to this lustful world. And it's disgusting. It will ruin your life and it will ruin your relationships. But the thing is, these companies want us addicted. They design everything to make us addicted. They design everything to make me and you addicted. So it's harder than just saying, okay, I'm going to stop now because they've designed everything to make us addicted. So we're fighting against a powerful source. And a couple things you need to do to combat against that powerful source is number one, you need to forget about it. I talk about that in every single video I make on the topic of porn or masturbation because it's the most important thing. Hardly any other self-improvement YouTubers will talk about it because they don't actually care about the people who are struggling with porn or masturbation. They just want to get views. But I genuinely want to help you. And you need to forget about it as much as you possibly can. And when the temptations come up, 
You need to do your best to resist them. You need to do everything you can to get up, get somewhere else, and position yourself somewhere where you cannot indulge in the bad habit, especially during the beginning stages, because those are the stages where it's going to be the most difficult to resist. And another thing is social media. I remember when I used to indulge in a ton of social media, and it made me significantly more depressed, insecure, and it made me hate my life even more. But the thing is, I didn't even realize it. And a lot of people don't realize it either, but they continuously indulge in this thing and they're pretty much self-sabotaging themselves without even realizing it. And they spend so much time on social media, scrolling for hours and hours and hours a day. And that's so much time wasted on top of watching the news, on top of playing video games, on top of watching TV shows or movies, or wasting time on other meaningless things. And the thing is, imagine if we spent all that time and dedicated it to our mission. Imagine how far we could get in that mission. Imagine how much we could get ahead of the competition. We could dominate life and achieve pretty much anything we wanted to if we used all that time for something actually meaningful. But like porn, social media companies also design their things to make us addicted. So it's harder than just saying no to the addiction. You have to force yourself to get off of it and you have to realize how bad it actually is for you. So what I want you to do, if you have any social media, especially just the short form content ones, because those are the ones where the real harm is at. If you have TikTok, if you have Instagram, if you have Snapchat, Facebook, or anything like that, delete it all. And a lot of people will make excuses and say that they use it to connect with their friends or see what their friends are doing. But the thing is, if that friend is worth having, you will actually talk to them instead of just watching what they're doing through a device. You will actually connect with those people. So delete them all and don't make any excuses. If you don't have a business or don't actually have a meaningful purpose, an actually meaningful purpose, not just an excuse. If you don't have an actual meaningful purpose to have those short form social medias, delete them all. And again, I want you to remember that even though I can be a little bit harsh in some of the videos, I genuinely do care about you and I'm here to help you. Keep working hard to make your future self proud. Click and watch this here and I'll see you in the next video.